Hello everyone and welcome to another unit comparison here in Wargame Red Dragon and specifically the Scandinavia Coalition. Today we're looking at cluster planes, the Swedish AJS-37 Viggen when compared to the Danish F-16A Block 5. And you might think just looking at these naively you have 10 AP power on the Viggen and 6 AP power on the Block 5, but if you're new to this plane tab, let me just tell you right now the Block 5 is usually the one that I at least hear higher level players talking about. So we do still have Orangina with us, and I'm just curious, why is that such a better option? Or is it? So, remember how I said a couple streams ago how out of maybe the top 10 units, the M41, it's definitely in that top 10? The Block 5 might be a few places above it, because this thing is absolutely, this is cracked. So you have your 12 cluster bombs, and the thing with cluster and how heat works is that if it hits, it's at least going to do one. It might do more if a tank has a low top armor value, like 2 or 3, but when you have 12, and tanks only have an HP of 10, that means that if half of these hit, you're at the very least doing 6 damage. And you might actually kill it if it has a top armor value of 2 or 3. And when you compare that to the Vigan, this is only 4 cluster bombs, so I guess particularly against things with 4 uh, top armor value like the, the BU, uh, from the USSR, that's really not going to do all that much even with a direct hit, is it? Yeah, it's much more dice rolly, and this, the Block 5 is so consistent. The other things the Block 5 has going for it is it also has that late Vulcan. The late Vulcan with that 40% accuracy, unlike some of the Vulcans with 30%, is a really comfy gun to have on your planes. It'll make it so that even if it runs out of SRAMs, it can just kind of slaughter planes in the sky because it has such a high rate of fire. Now, this kind of, I mean, the more we talk about it, it really reminds me almost of the, the Peace Rhine from Eurocorps because, I mean, it's still an anti-tank purpose, admittedly with Cluster instead of ATGMs, but you do also have AIM-9Ls here, and these are 50 Accuracy, 50 Stabilizer, only two, but 4 HE power, it's, I mean, it's a multi-role plane for 115 points, 20 ECM, 1000 km airspeed, this seems like just surprisingly good. The more, like, the longer I stare at it, the happier it makes me uh, as an option, which... Yeah, absolutely. And I think that comparing it to the Peace Rhine is interesting because most people, they look at the Peace Rhine and they go, oh, this thing has fire and forget. But the Block 5, that's just a bomber. A lot of people don't realize that if you get right clicks off with this, the bombs actually do track. So if you roll a hit, even if the thing drives away, it will still land that hit. The bombs will teleport on top of it and can hit the stuff around it. So, so if you get a right click off with this thing, it's crazy. So I just I was hoping you could expand on that a little bit. It's not actually a mechanic I knew about until maybe a couple of weeks ago. And it's very much a weird thing because... You know, when you're learning the game and you're learning bombers, you fire on position basically with everything. I mean, especially with iron bombs like this one appears to be. It does have an accuracy, not a dispersion. So what do you mean when you say right-click on something, and what are the ways to make sure that you're maximizing the value out of these cluster bombs? So if you think you can get a right-click off, you should definitely go for it. You might struggle if there's smoke or if there's buildings that like the vehicles are driving through that might prevent this from happening. But if you can get it off, it's definitely so worth hold, it. So hold on, hold on. Do you mean just right-click directly on your target, not even fire positioning at all? I mean directly right-click, no fire position, just simple as right-click. Huh. That's really goofy. And you said it rolls hit. Does that mean... I mean... You think these bombs drop, and then if so, if your opponent's moving their tank and it goes out of the cluster pattern, you'll be you know guaranteed misses. Do these things almost like teleport on top of it, kind of deal? They do teleport on top of it, and it, it does look kind of strange. I encourage you guys to like play a game, maybe against the AI, and test it out because it'll there'll be like big gaps on where they land. It's oh a it's a weird bug. <laughs> well, um, okay, block five, one of the most cracked units, one of the most busted units, overpowered units. Uh, OP bro units in the entire game and that's our comparison for you guys today we'll have a couple more planes and that'll wrap up Scandinavia we'll be on to another faction with another expert but many thanks of course to Orangina for all of the useful information so far